Okay, PPE and restraint. So today I want to talk about that because I've had lots of messages about this. I've had a lot of people contact me and say, can we issue PPE to staff or is it safe for us to use PPE and then go in and restrain someone? Well, I'm going to refer back to some of the previous videos I've done on this. And the first thing in the hierarchy of control is elimination. So if you don't need to restrain, you absolutely should not do it. And you must find other ways of, of controlling the, the risk by maybe isolating and con containing someone and controlling the environment. That's the first thing. If then there is still a need to restrain people, then what the organisation must do legally is manage that risk. And that requires a risk assessment done by a suitably qualified and or competent person. What they have to do is they have to balance the need for staff to physically engage with someone in this current climate for either staff safety or the safety of their patients or service users or whoever that may be, balanced against the risk of staff coming to harm and being infected by doing so. So that's a balancing act that organisations must do and that must be documented in the risk assessment. But let's say we give staff PPE. Well, the minute we do that, we introduce additional hazards into the situation. For example, let's talk about face masks. Well, if we issue face masks to staff, are they likely to steam up impairing staff's vision? There's a hazard in itself, okay? What if the face mask or the FRSM gets ripped off staff? There's another risk because you now have a member of staff in a situation without any protection. Uh, what about aprons being torn? If an apron gets torn, uh, then you've got a slip trip hazard if it goes around someone's legs and maybe even a ligature hazard. And I don't know. It depends on the nature of the environment, I, I, I presume. Also, what about staff's capability when they wear PPE? You know, if they've got all this PPE on, how, how are they going to cope? Is it going to affect their ability to breathe? Are they going to be able to restrain for a prolonged period of time? You know, so the fitness and age and the demographics of staff all have to be looked at here. But the point I'm making in this short video, and I am going to do a live webinar on this, this and other subjects, is this, is the minute you introduce PPE into a situation, okay, you introduce additional hazards which then have to be assessed on their own merit and the appropriate control measures put in place. You can't just say, here's some PPE, go and restrain someone, that's too one-dimensional. You have to then look at the hazards that the introduction of PPE causes, okay, and assess those hazards and find the adequate control measures to either eliminate the, the need to restrain or reduce the risk to its lowest practicable level. That is a legal requirement. I hope that helps. As always, leave a comment below, and if I can be of any help or service to you during this time, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, take care, stay safe.